when the final whistle blew, the trophy came to our hand. We knew that uh, this, this moment we'll never forget. And when we see the picture now, it's, only, it's always something that uh, brings a smile and brings the uh, memories of uh, these two months we spent together and this beautiful moment. It's very emotional. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Olivier, first up, World Cup winners. It has a, a special ring to it, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a childhood uh, dream, you know. Uh, I think every single player uh, uh, were dreaming about winning a World Cup one day, you know. Personally, I, uh, I was uh, 11 years old when uh, the France won the, the first World Cup for the country, and I was so excited, and I say to my friends, uh, uh, one day I will win it. Angolo, what do you remember about the 1998 World Cup? I remember I was young. I watched uh, most of the game with my family. And after I went uh, to my uh, friend's home for, uh, for the final, I remember the goal, the, the atmosphere in France, the, the win of the competition. And uh, this is something I will never forget, I think. I remember Ben Mendy said, uh, ah, that's it uh, at the end of the game. That's it, that's it, winning a World Cup. At the end of the day, it was not so hard. But obviously he was kidding, joking, but it's true that we played tough games against big teams. We didn't have the, the, the easiest uh, way uh, to reach the final. So yeah, we've been very proud. When you're, you're in championship, you fight for one year for yeah. 40 games. And I mean, it's, it's yeah. seven games. Yes, you need, to, game, you need to win seven yeah. games. Tell us about the first time you got your hands on the trophy. Was, th was there a race for you to all grab it first, get a picture with it first? Now, obviously, we knew that Hugo will be the first one to touch it. I have to say I've been clever because I took the good position to, to touch it. Angala, when did you first get your hands on the trophy? I was waiting uh, my turn because... <laughs> he, he's, he's so shy, so no, no. he didn't want to say, yeah, give it to me. <laughs> it's like that, so yeah. he, had, he had to wait. Sometimes people came in front of him and yeah. at the end uh, of the day, uh, someone <laughs> take it and give it to yes, you. Yes, know? yes, yes. These are the stories that people will remember in Angolo. People will remember your song as well. What did it mean to you? You had the, the president of France singing your song. It's incredible. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, at the beginning, he was good. He was good, like uh, something to enjoy because he was. Uh, it's always good to have uh, good attention from the people. He was kind. But uh, after my teammates <laughs> turned it like. Uh, Little bit, uh, <laughs> little bit joking because uh, uh, we used to play a lot during our, our free time, like play basket, like video games and, and cards for going to the training. And uh, sometimes when we lost, we, we need to uh, get uh, how we say yeah, flip, uh, flip in the here. And uh, again, some players, it was like uh, when you lost, they hit you very hard. And uh, me, what happened when I was in difficulty, I knew that I will nearly lose the, the game. Sometimes I was trying to, <laughs> <laughs> to have a solution, so I was cheating at the card. You know? Tell it. Yeah, he's <laughs> the he's issue saying, sometimes. But he's a human being, person. I mean, he's, he's a normal person, so sometimes, yeah, yeah it happens. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, the teammate turned the song against me and said, like, I'm a cheater at the card. But I'm not the only one. Uh, he was to escape the, the, the heat on my heels. And at the end, it was, it was funny and a good memory for everyone. Yeah. You spoke about the team spirit. How important was that? And how important is it that this group of players was so close? That's, that was uh, something you need uh, when you build uh, like a house or building always helping each other from the start, from the first training session preparation, where we were doing a strong training session, physical, athletic, and I mean, yeah, if one of us were a bit down, uh, there is always uh, one player to, to help him, I mean, and that that's was the spirit. Olivier, tell us about Angolo as a player, as a person, just how important is he to the dynamic of that group? He is so kind, so humble, you know, and that's why maybe sometimes the player wants to, to teasing him. But yeah, he's always uh, the one who wants to help uh, his teammates. He had a very good understanding um, at midfield with uh, Paul, 
and uh, they were very complimentary. And obviously, uh, I used to say when we play with NG, we we. we we like playing at 12 instead of 11. When you see like a uh, striker defend for the team, as a midfielder, he helps us to fight yeah, even strength. more. Yeah, yeah, even more yeah. You had to run to keep Eden Hazard quiet, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First 20 minutes, he was uh, doing very well. We knew uh, what to do to, uh, to not let them play their game. So Ngolo, finally, an incredible achievement. Tell us what it was like to come back to France and those amazing scenes on the Champs Elysees. Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. Like uh, we, we are very happy to, to enjoy this, uh, this trophy with uh, the fans. And uh, during all the way to the Champs Elysees, it was like uh, <laughs> something I never see. Uh, it was like uh, people were waiting on the road. Uh, everyone, uh, kids, yeah. <laughs> kids. Uh, Kids, mom, uh, old, young, everyone was waiting for us. <laughs> it was something I, I never seen. And uh, when we come to the Champs Elysees, it was like uh, people uh, all, all the way, all the way. Go on, Olivier, then. What didn't go no, to say just you? he said, I've seen him one week after the final. And he said, Oli, uh, you can imagine, I was uh, in Paris. And uh, it was uh, so crazy that I, uh, I needed to uh, get a rest in London. Oh, so, yes, yeah, yeah yes, too, it was too much. I can yes, imagine yes, him uh, in walking in the street, Angolo, Angolo, world champion. Oh, it's true, so, it's true. It's yeah, true. it's true that the boss, uh, Didier Deschamps, said uh, our life was going to change. click here and to subscribe click here